people say, look, he issued orders, a lot of orders, um, declassifying information before he left office. Do you know anything about this? As a former deputy director of national intelligence, I know how this system works. The president is the sole and universal arbiter and classification authority in the United States of America. If he says a document is declassified or a set of them, that is it. There is no written re material required. That is a fiction being created by the fake news and the radical left. In October of 2020, President Trump put out for the world to see a sweeping declassification order, and he did it via social media. Every single Russia Gate doc. Every single Hillary Gate doc, every one, those are his words. That is the precedent that the president of the United States is allowed to operate under. And then in December and January in the way out, I witnessed him declassify whole sets of documents. So it is not incumbent upon President Trump and his lawyers and, his, and, and, and he as a target of this investigation to show he, in fact, did declassify them. It's up to the government, who has the burden of proof, who are trying to deprive a man of his liberty to show that no such order was, in fact, given. They know they can't. So what happens? The fake news mafia comes in and says, oh, but there was no protocols followed. And Mark, you know, when they're arguing protocols and procedure, it's because they have lost the factual argument and the truth. And now they are trying to hide behind this magistrate judge who is going to supposedly play this game of redactions. We saw it in Russiagate. And when I was a deputy DNI, we lifted all those redactions from the Russiagate docs. And what do we see, Mark? Corruption. FBI and DOJ corruption and breaking of the law. That's the same game they're going to play here, and the fake news media is going to attempt to applaud them for their, for their farce in terms of cons uh, transparency. And we cannot allow them to do that. The president declassified documents. The government has failed to show that that did not occur. Procedure and protocol do not apply to the president of the United States when he is declassifying documents. And let me underscore that point. The Constitution of the United States, the first sentence, Article 2, Section 1, the president is the executive branch. That's why everybody agrees he can declassify and classify as much as he wants, and he can do it right out the door. The Espionage Act, in this sense, simply does not apply to a former president. It does not apply to the president of the United States. It was passed originally in 1917. It was pushed by Woodrow Wilson to use against his enemies, people who opposed World War I. It was never, ever intended to apply to a president. Let me ask you this, Cash Patel. Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Clinton, Bill Clinton, Vice President Gore, Vice President Biden, Vice President Cheney. Do we know if any of them secreted any documents, took any documents with them to their homes, classified or otherwise? Do we know? I know for a fact that President Obama has classified access at one of his homes, so those such documents exist there, and they should as for former presidents of the United States, and that law and that rule should apply equally. But the Government Services Administration is responsible for packaging and parceling those documents, and you bring up a great point. They were the ones that moved the documents to Mar-a-Lago, and they were the ones that have now admitted they mistakenly moved boxes. It's not like President Trump. Even if they get past the declassification farce, um, it's a ruse, I should say, it's not like President Trump put him in a backpack and moved him down there and said, nothing to see here. I want to illegally distribute these documents. The law should be applied. There not should be a two-tiered system of justice. Clinton, Obama, Bush, Trump as former presidents must be treated equally when it comes to classified documentation. I think it's very interesting that not a single former president or vice president have opened their mouths because I suspect they have taken documents with them whether it's in violation, quote unquote, of one law or another. This entire event was completely unnecessary, and it's just more of an effort to try and trap and drag down Donald Trump. Cash Patel, thank you for your service, my friend. Take care of yourself.